Let's do a couple of basic algebraic uh, equations where we solve for x, where we have cubics, sorry, squares. So quadratic formulas, one being x squared equals 64. To solve for this, we need to take the square root of both sides. So the square root is the inverse operation of a square. If we take the square root of x squared, then we're left with just x. The square root of this becomes, well, we can re just rewrite it initially as square root 64. But we need to remember something very important right here, especially we can recall it since this is a quadratic, we're going to have two answers. So x is actually plus or minus the square root of 64. So x becomes the positive value of this and the negative value of this. So now we just have to determine what number times itself is 64. Well, that would be 8. 8 times 8 is 64. So we have two answers. x1 is positive 8, and x2 is negative 8. So these are our two answers for this quadratic. Let's do another really similar problem just to make sure we have the idea right. If we have x squared equals, let's say, 16, then we need to do the exact same process here. We take the square root of both sides, so we do the inverse operation of the square, and we get x equals, of course we're going to have plus or minus again, because it's a quadratic, we have two answers, plus or minus square root of 16. Anytime we have a square root, it's plus or minus. Now we need to determine what number times itself gives us 16, and that's of course 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. So we have two answers again. x1 equals positive 4, and x2 equals negative 4. So here we have two simple quadratic equations that we solved and got two different answers for.